Hey guys, Curious, welcome back to my channel. I cover magical girls and idol anime. So today we're going to talk about the brand new season of Precure. It was a long wait, but it's finally here. So let's discuss the news about Delicious Party Precure. Cookingdom is a delicious, happy world run by cooking. One day, the recipe bonds are taken by the phantom thief, Capture Gang. I believe in the trailer they're referred to as Bunduru. The energy fairies, the recipes, arrive at Delicious Town, searching for the recipe bond. The names this season are really goofy, and this is just the beginning. The season's character designer has been a longtime fan of Precure, and I'm glad she was able to make her dreams come true. One thing you'll notice is that the eyes are much wider this season, and the placement of lashes gives it a very early 2000s vibe, but now let's go over the girls themselves. First up is Nagomi Yui. Yui has bright purple eyes and really pretty brown hair. I love when they use natural colors, and brown is pretty underrated. Her clothes use various shades of pink, which is a bit of a departure from the previous leads. Maybe it's to make up for the lack of the pink hair. Yui is described as relaxed, straightforward, and energetic. She's prone to saying delicious smile and I'm hungry. She also loves fresh vegetables, which explains the carrot buns in her hair. Yui cherishes her grandmother's motto, food is smiles. It kind of reminds me of Shokugeki no Soma and I feel like I'm gonna like her a lot. When she transforms, she says, hot food overflows with power, cure precious. Initially, I was very worried about this outfit as the coloring book illustration made it look wide and gigantic, but now that it's colored, I actually really like this long saturated hair and the carrot buns at the top. The weird shoes are a choice, but I do love all the ribbons as it's pretty consistent with not only the other girls in the team, but the recipe bond that they're looking for. Her silhouette is a bit messy as her hair swallows up everything that could stand out, but I'm assuming that the carrot buns are what are supposed to make her recognizable. Looking at the three silhouettes, it's pretty clear that they prioritized their hair being the most recognizable part of the silhouette, as their outfits are really wide and quite hard to identify if, if you're not very familiar with them. Number two is Fua Kokone, and she has a really official vibe with her formal clothing and slick short hair. I love how stylish she is, and it suits her description as a fashionable, cool beauty. She loves to be alone, and the standoffish nature is pretty clear from her pose. Her favorite foods are curry bread and heart-shaped bread. As a cure, she transforms into Cure Spicy. I don't know what's up with the names, but I'm sure there's some meaning behind it. The transformation phrase is with fluffy sandwiches, spice up your heart, cure spicy. She's got a very blue outfit and I love the trailing ends of her ribbon. Her skirt has three layers and I think it's the messiest part of her design. I like the consistency of ribbons on the shoes, but the hair is really intense. It's the busiest profile we've had since Cure Mermaid. I love the little loop up there, but the trailing pink strand is just confusing to me. Last up, we've got Ran, and she's got my favorite civilian form so far. She's curious about food and has two younger siblings. When she gets excited, she can't stop talking and secretly posts about rice on Kyrsta. She's also got orange and green, which I love. It's actually a little unique to have two girls share a natural hair color in Precure, as both her and Yui have brown hair. Cure Yum Yum has the busiest skirt so far and three different colors on her. Her noodle hair is really unique and reminds me of Cure Lemonade, and the green part of her ribbon even resembles a flower or clover. The apron feels most tacked on with her design, so I don't know why they stuck with it. As a group, they look really cute together in civilian form, but as a team, I think the apron is really unnecessary. Not only does it clutter the designs, but even without it, you can still tell they're on the same team. People are saying that this team doesn't look united, but I kind of disagree. They've each got a ribbon accessory on their head, chest, and back. Their outfits all have a segmented midriff and layered skirts. It's pretty obvious they're from the same show, even without the art style. Like, if I saw a fan art of these three girls, 
I would recognize the similarities and could put them together in a team. Their hair even features a food item each, so I really don't know why the apron was chosen as this uniting thing when their designs are already so similar enough that you could recognize them as a team. As you could probably tell by my descriptions, they're not my favorite designs. There's a lot to love here, but I'm not really enjoying these designs as much as I did the healing good ones when they came out, even though I didn't like Fontaine. It's just not my favorite season so far, based off that. Apart from the cures, we have two allies this season. There's a mysterious man behind the girls, and I'm pretty sure it's Takumi. Takumi is Yu's childhood friend and seems to be the new Seiji. I'd love if this was his magical form, kind of like Tuxedo Mask. He might also be a love interest for the MC. People usually have really strong feelings toward romance and Precure, but I did enjoy Seiji Megumi, not so much the others as I am watching ES5 right now. Rosemary is our second ally and he's an emotional man from Cookingdom and knows about cosmetology. His whole character is an opportunity that I'm not sure about. It remains to be seen if they're going to use him respectfully. There's already been some negative reaction in the fandom. Uh, it's a bit childish, but anyway. Last new character I'm going to cover is probably the purple cure of the season. Gentle is a villain from Bundaru with a really cute design. Um, the monsters this season have masks and crossed out bees, as does she. I find it kind of funny how many spikes she has when her name is Gentle, but she's probably going to be the purple cure and the fourth member of this team. Much like Tropical Rouge, the first episode monster is also really fitting, looking like a sauce bottle. Now, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. Honestly, I don't have too much to say outside of the fact that I like how the food looks and that I'm glad the designs are bright. In addition to the images we already have, there's actually a 30 second trailer. I don't have much to say about it, except it just seems to show what the first episode will be like. The food looks great. I love the pretty colored. I love the town. We don't have too much news, so I'm gonna stop myself before I start to ramble. If you enjoyed that, be sure to like and subscribe. I do plan on analyzing the opening when it comes out and covering any new news we get, but these are my sparse thoughts on the new season announcement.